out with the old, boring, and outdated, and in with the new, exciting, and just your style. When you're ready to install a new ceiling fan, Kitchler is here for you with tips, techniques, and how-tos to help you get the job done. In the next few minutes, we'll take you through the installation of one of Kitchler's most popular fans. It's part of our decor line, and you'll find that many of our ceiling fans follow these same basic install steps. But be sure to consult the instruction manual for the fan you've selected. Let's start with the most important step. Turn off the electric at the breaker box and make sure it's off. Safely remove your old fan, the light kit, followed by the blades, and then the motor. If you're replacing a fan, the support box in the ceiling should work. If you're replacing a light, consult your lighting showroom or a licensed contractor for info on installing a support brace rated for ceiling fans. Unpack your fan and double check that you have all the parts listed in the instructions. Gather your tools and you're ready to begin. First, remove the decorative canopy from the fan body. Loosen and remove the two screws that attach the hanger bracket to the canopy. Take this bracket and attach it to the ceiling using the screws and washer in your existing box. Now let's get the fan body ready to install. Here's an important tip. You never want to attach the blades until the fan is up on the ceiling. This makes installation so much easier. Now take the unit and loosen the set screws. Remove the cross pin and slide the hanger ball off the down rod. Loosen the two screws and remove the two pins from the top of the motor. If your ceiling height is greater than nine feet, you'll need to attach a down rod extension now. Kitchler down rods are threaded at both ends, assuring a tighter, wobble-free connection and should not be cut. Refer to the downrod chart at KitchlerSealingFans.com to help select the proper size downrod for your installation. Feed the wires up through the appropriate length downrod and thread it to the fan body until the holes are aligned. Reattach using the pins you've just removed. Now tighten the two screws. Slip the coupling cover, the decorative canopy cover, and the ceiling canopy over the down rod. Reattach the hanger ball on the rod using the cross pin and tighten the screw. Now, let's bring the fan body up to the ceiling. Nestle the hanger ball into the bracket and rotate until the slot drops in. Check to make sure it doesn't rotate. The fan we're installing today comes with Kitchler's Cool Touch Remote Control System. So we need to make sure that the factory presets in the remote control match those in the receiver. If they don't, switch them so they match. Now insert the receiver into the bracket with the flat side facing the ceiling. Attach the wires in the receiver to the wires in the fan, matching the wire colors and securing with the plastic wire nuts provided. Attach the receiver wires to the wires in your home's electrical box. Feed the wires back into the box. Slide the fan's decorative canopy up to the ceiling and rotate it until it's secure over the screws and tighten. Now for the blades. Remove the protective rubber shipping brackets from the motor. Attach the fan blades to their arms using the screws and washers provided. And then attach the blades to the fan body. Our ceiling fan also comes with a Kitchler light fixture. So let's get that up. You will need to remove the plug from the switch housing prior to installing it on the light kit. Attach the switch housing to the top of the light kit using the hardware provided. Remove one of the three screws from the underside of the fan and loosen the other two. Slide the mounting plate over the two screws and turn it until it locks into place. Reattach the third screw and tighten all of the screws. Connect the wires on the light kit to those on the fan. Be sure to match the wire color. Tuck the wires into the fan, 
Feed the holes in the light over the three screws and turn until it locks into place. Tighten all of the screws, add your light bulbs, install the shade, turn the power back on, and test operation. You'll love that your new Cool Touch remote offers so much versatility, including the ability to switch the fan blade direction from the remote. It also comes with a convenient wall mounting plate to go over your existing switch. In no time, you can add more style and function to a space with a Kitchler ceiling fan. Still have questions? Visit KitchlerCeilingFans.com.